Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the volume and pan fader block which I developed for the Lightpad M using Littlefoot scripts. I recently purchased a set of Rolly blocks, primarily for the multidimensional polyphonic expression offered by the Seaboard block which I have in front of me here. But I've also been tinkering a lot with the Lightpad M which also came with the Songmaker kit. The Lightpad M is an incredibly versatile piece of kit. It can be used as a controller similar to the Ableton Push. But using the Blocks dashboard you can load all sorts of apps onto the Lightpad M such as this one over here which is a fader block which can be used for controlling a DAW faders. I happen to think this is the most useful implementation of the Lightpad M if you're not using it to trigger a drum pad. However there are some limitations with the fader block which comes with the Blocks dashboard. Firstly, as the Lightpad M only displays four faders at one time, it's necessary to cycle through them. You do this by pressing the mode button on the side of the Lightpad M. However, it's only possible to cycle through the fader banks in a single direction, which is going forwards. So if you're on fader bank number two and you want to get to fader bank number one, you have to cycle through banks three and four in order to get back to the beginning. In addition, having this functionality rely upon the mode button on the side of the block causes problems when you have your Lightpad M connected to other Rolly blocks, as it's not actually possible to access that button anymore. So wouldn't it be great to take this functionality and improve it so that you can access each each fader by pressing on the surface of the light pad block itself instead of having to press the mode button on the side. And that's why I created the blocks app that you're seeing right now. I took the functionality of the existing fader block but I made it so that you could cycle through the banks by pressing on the side of the block here instead of having to use the mode button on the side. The best use of this functionality would be to connect this to a DAW and have each of these faders control the volume of an individual track. But you'll also notice that there is a row of LEDs on the left hand side of the light pad block. If you tap one of these, you get to a pan functionality. You can use this to control the left or right hand pan of 16 tracks in your DAW. As you can see, if I move my finger all the way to the right, you can pan a track all the way to the right. And if I move my finger all the way to the left, you can pan a track all the way to the left. And you can switch between the four pan banks by pressing on the LEDs at the top of the light pad block. Go back to the volume faders, you can use one of the LEDs on the bottom of the block when you're in pan mode. If you're interested on getting this up and running on your own blocks dashboard, here's what you do. First of all, you navigate to developer.roly.com. Once you're there, navigate down the web page in order to get to the Littlefoot language and blocks code and download whichever blocks code version is applicable to the environment that you're running. Once you've installed the blocks code application, you should have something that looks like this. You should go to file, new file. After that, you want to navigate to my GitHub page. The link is included in this YouTube video. You want to copy all and then you want to paste it into the blocks code. You should be left with code which compiles, assuming that you have auto compile and auto upload turned on. It should say no errors, memory needed, 6.6 .6 kilobytes, 94%. After you've done that, go to save as and then type the name of the file. I've decided to name this volume and pan faders dot littlefoot. Remember that you should always save this in documents roly littlefoot on whichever is your local C drive. After saving down the Littlefoot script file, exit the Blocks code application and open Blocks dashboard. Double click on the Lightpad block and you should see the new application appear in the Blocks dashboard as the volume and pan fader. If you go to edit, you will be able to see the 32 different CC commands that you can assign to this application, corresponding to 16 pans and 16 volume fades. So there you have it. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions in the YouTube comments. And if you like what you saw, please click subscribe.